Okay, I have a poem here, uh, a recent work called Gaudeamus Igitur. I'll show you. That's what it looks like. It's actually going in my next book, but uh, Gaudeamus Igitur means literally let us, let us therefore rejoice. Um, this poem is dedicated to Barry Lopez, a friend, elder, um, and teacher, because I wrote the poem at his place in uh, Fin Rock up the Mackenzie River from the town of Eugene in Oregon, uh, right at the end of February last year when I visited uh, him and Barry and I were having a conversation about uh, performance he'd seen by a Russian choir, I think, of the mass um, called Gaudiama Sigitur. Um, and the poem is written in the spirit of our conversation, which was to contemplate with some gloom um, the future of the our children and grandchildren if we don't manage to turn things around um, and the spirit of it is look we may be going to hell in the basket uh, the, wor the world may become a much less livable place than it is but hey you know what it's very beautiful yet and uh, we should rejoice while we still can the poem is written in who connected uh, sijo sijo is a korean form of poem uh, in which each stanza has Three lines and each line has 15 syllables. Um, you need to imagine, I guess, the Douglas fir forest when you hear the poem. Gaudeamus igitur, the whole world composes itself here. Cedars, husband, first light along the thin trail I take to the creek. Log trucks pass along the road beside the river, which makes the quiet fast again. The slow sun takes its time like a mourner over brimming hills to the east. Morning lights the distance before it moves in close. Moss slakes the furs with what the wrens decant. While this lasts, rejoice.